Hey, hello everybody, this is Maltenen, and uh, I've got a new exciting tutorial for you. Um, it's rather an experiment than a tutorial. It's a follow-up to the um, Particle Playground on Fire uh, experiment that I did uh, like two weeks ago or something like that. Um, so today, uh, since it's late November and we're all going to need to do some Christmas related animation sooner or later, I figured that maybe today I'll cover making snow and what's interesting about this experiment is that as you can see in here the snow will stick to uh, the actor or to, to the uh, background to the buildings or whatever you have in your footage so um, so this tutorial focuses on making the snow stick rather than making it look good and look like a snow it is something for you to experiment with okay so let's let's start okay so we're starting off by importing the footage and dragging it onto the make new comp button. So as you can see this is George and he's pretending that the snow is falling onto his head and so on. So uh, we're going to generate the um, modification map as you remember from the uh, particle on fire, particle playground on fire tutorial. And let's call this resistant map. This is going to be you know, a name that means something. Then rather than the modification map. Okay, so first of all let's duplicate this layer and let's pre-compose it, so Control shift c or Command shift c on the Macintosh and let's call this Resistant George. Okay, and Alt double click on this and we're going to basically do it with the uh, fire example uh, but a little bit different. First of all let's find some edges. Find edges, that's right. And this already looks good but uh, I'd like to reverse the colors so let's click on invert and the next step is to um, apply some threshold and uh, yep that that looks okay I think uh, if this doesn't work for you you might try you might try to add uh, a, a minimax uh, filter for example to this so like uh, set it to 2 or something to make the edges thicker but I think that we're good with what we have straight from find edges and threshold so uh, this is it and the last step is to key out the blacks Luma key and key out darker that's it okay great so we're good with this and we can drag this to the bottom turn it off we don't need it and next thing is we'd like to create a new solid that is going to be um, our snow layer so let's call this snow particles and let's apply particle playground and by the way as I promised I'm planning to do some uh, trap code particular tutorials and maybe not only particular but also the other plugins and I have some cool ideas on how you can use those uh, filters so stay tuned and watch out for new tutorials okay so let's set the color of the particles to white because snow is generally white and okay we have this cannon that is looking like a fountain so we have to change the direction to 180 degrees so it's falling down and there's also this barrel radius which basically is the radius of the cannon so let's set this to uh, 400 pixels maybe maybe a bit less how big is this composition let me see well it's 640 so we can set this to Three oh sorry, three twenty. That's exactly what we need. Let me just zoom out for a second. And okay, we have the snow. And the next thing is do 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 particle radius. We can increase the radius of the particles. And let's see how fast they're going. Well, that's a bit fast for a snow ride, so let's change the velocity to 50. And maybe let's move the 
cannon position somewhere in here. When you hold shift, you'll you know just it will snap to horizontal or, or vertical axis from the point that you're dragging it. So I'm holding shift right now to put it just above uh, the footage area. And that already looks okay, I think. Well, it's still a bit fast, so maybe let's go to gravity and change the force to maybe 60, half of that. And let's see how it looks right now. Okay, that's much better. Much better. So that's it maybe let's apply some fast blur to blur the particles so they look more like a snow than a dots so like five no, that's too much three eh, it's okay I think and here's the fun part uh, remember how we set up the um, how we set up the layer exploder in particle playground on fire tutorial uh, to create particles from George's hands, right? From George's movement. And in this case, we are doing something, uh, something different. We don't want to use Layer Exploder, but indeed, we want to use a uh, property mapper, and we want to use Layer as map. And the layer we want to use is resistant, resistance George. And now we have to map the values from the resistance George layer. And we have a bunch to choose from, but the ones that we are interested in are X speed and Y speed. And what this will do, as you can see, it makes the particles stop. It makes them stick for a while. It just slows them down. And in case you have a heavy gravity going on, that works well for the particles that are not colliding with any edges. Um, you might want to set this value to negative, for example, negative 2. Let's see what that will do. It makes them stick a little bit longer, as you can see, before the gravity is strong enough to pull them down. So, basically this is it. As you can see, this is this is maybe not the best example, but I hope you will, you know, find some some cool ways to use this. And one of the ways may be, for example, playing with text or logos or stuff like that. So right now let's create a new comp. Let's make it uh, 640 by 320 and maybe like, what, 300 frames or so. And let's drag my company's logo and let's fill this with white. Fill, fill, fill. Where's the fill filter? Okay, here it is. And let's set it to white. And full resolution, that's right. Okay, that looks pretty nice. And now we can duplicate the layer and pre-compose it again. So we're basically creating another resistance map. Resistance logo. And we're going to put it below and let's create some nice background like a solid, make comp size and apply a ramp effect for example like so and maybe let's change the colors. Let's set this to um, what? Like a dark blue or something. Dark blue and the upper color to whatever really. Something like that. Well, never mind that. Um, the thing is that we want to make a snow falling down from the sky onto this logo and this is exactly what we are going to do in a second. So since we have a good snow set up in this uh, composition we can just simply copy paste it. So select the layer and press Ctrl C and go to the new composition and press Ctrl V to paste it. And the only thing uh, that we have to change is the layer map and we have to set it to resistance logo. So let's do that right now and let's see if it works. It should work. And it works as you can see but something is definitely not right so let's do some small changes. Let's extend the length of the comp 
and let's see what's wrong. And we also have to change the length of the resistance logo composition to 6 seconds. Okay. Let's go back. I believe we can use this button. Yes, pretty cool. Pretty cool feature in CS3. Um, okay, I can see the, the snow sticks, but something is wrong. Let's call this snow. And let's see what's what's going on with this. And um, oh, I believe I believe I know what's what's the problem. The problem is that the snow particles layer is bigger than the composition, and it calculates the and it calculates the position of the colliding pixels. You know, the, the pixels from the resistance logo uh, map uh, based on the com size. So we have to change the size of um, so we have to change the size of our particle layer so let's pr press ctrl shift y and click on make comp size that's it and let's reset the position and it should be fine right now yep looks like it works Yes, pretty nice. And it will probably look even nicer if the logo would be black or maybe something like this. And let's add a little glow to it also. Where's the layer styles? Layer styles, outer glow. Let's change the color of the glow to something like this maybe a little bit wider and let's change the opacity to 30 or 10 yeah 10 is okay and let's see how that looks pretty damn cool I'll tell you that okay so what else can we do with this um, for example if you don't have a logo and you don't have the or whatever then for example maybe you have some image uh, like a background image or you know whatever so let's make another example let's drag this to make new com button um, you know what this is kind of huge so let's maybe size it down to about half so 50% and the same thing with the comp size and we can log the aspect ratio and divide this by 2 and that's okay and let's pre-compose this duplicate and pre-compose control shift C and let's call this resistance house Let's drag this to the bottom, double click on it. Let's apply some fine edges. Fine edges looks okay for me. Okay, let's apply Luma key. And key out brighter in this case. And this this looks nice, I think. Maybe some edge thin parameter. Let me take a closer look on this. Yeah, I think that's okay. And of course, let's fill this with the white color. You know what? I'm not really sure if that matters, really, but uh, I just like to do it. It makes things more clear to me, and I found out that some of the uh, property mapper. Uh, functions in the in the particle playground works better with alpha and others work better with color and such so this is this is basically what I'm using all the time uh, so we have the resistance map great and now it's time for our particles so again we can copy the uh, the snow particles layer so control C and let's paste it in Control V, let's call this snow particles, that's right. And we have to change the size of this again. So Control Shift Y, make comp size, 
and reset its position and once again set the layer map to resistance house and it, okay let's see okay yes I think that that looks pretty good as you can see the particle sticks to this area oh this is kinda cool when it's going when it's going backwards and you can see that they are not falling through uh, from this side or from this side so this is basically working I hope that you found this useful because like I said this is just an experiment you can play with it and see how you can how you can use it in your, your work I hope you've enjoyed it and that you find it useful once again this is Maltanon for Maltanon.com and CreativeCow.net see you next time cheers